James Earl Carter Jr. was born October 21st, 1924 in Plains, Georgia. Congratulations! It's a boy! Thank you. I'll name him Jimmy Carter. He had three siblings. Georgia. Hi. Billy. And Ruth. And his parents were Bessie and James. In high school, he was good in basketball and a member of the FFA. He attended Georgia Southwestern College and then enrolled in the U.S. Naval Academy. He then drove submarines for the U.S. Navy where he served for six years until his father died in 1953. Then he went back to Plains, Georgia and expanded the family peanut farming business. He was a peanut. He was elected to state senate in 1961 and again in 1964. In 1964 his opponent stuffed the ballot and was found guilty making Carter the winner. In 1966, he decided to run for governor. I'm gonna run for governor. Which he lost. I lost. So we went back to the peanut farm and planned for the 1970 election. Which he won. I'm governor. While governor, he supported major reforms in the Georgia government, supported civil rights, and legal abortion. He ran for president in 1976. He was extremely unknown but ran a strong campaign making hundreds of speeches across the nation. Vote for me. I'm awesome. He barely won with 50.1% 50, 50 of the electoral votes over Ford's 48%. Suck it. Carter did a lot for the environment. He installed solar panels in the White House and looked for other ways to conserve energy such as turning down the heat and wearing a sweater during the cold months in the White House. He founded the Department of Energy to decrease dependence on oil and look for alternative energy sources. He raised fuel efficiency standards for cars. He evacuated the New York City neighborhood Love Canal because it was built over a toxic landfill. Toxic! Everybody get out! He passed a lot of conservation acts, such as the Soil and Water Conservation Act, the Surface Mining Control Act, the Endangered American Wilderness Act, and the Antarctic Conservation Act. The Clean Air Act was kicked up a notch and he greatly preser preserved the Alaskan wilderness. Carter was ahead of his, di his time in these acts and there was not great focus on the environment as there is now. In a famous speech he said the, environment the environmental crisis was of some the same importance of a war. While president, he boycotted the 1980 Olympics in Moscow, signed the Camp David Accords, signed a nuclear reduction treaty, and tried to calm various other conflicts around the world. I'm going to the Olympics! No, you're not. The Iran hostage crisis came at the end of his presidency, and he was defeated by Ronald Reagan. I don't know what to do. He went back to his peanut farm and started the Carter, Carter Center, which still helps the humanitarian crisis and environmental is issues around the world. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002 for his human rights works. He now lives in Plains, Georgia with his wife, Rosalind, where he teaches Sunday school and volunteers for Habitat for Humanity. His pre presidency receives 
mixed reviews, but most recognize his good character. Can our government be competent? Jimmy Carter says yes. Jimmy Carter says yes. Can our government be honest? Jimmy Carter says yes. Jimmy Carter says yes.